What's up guys, welcome back. It's towards the end of our work day right now. I just got my Saibon carbon fiber hood in and I'm gonna open that up right now. I actually bought this hood for my daily. I'm gonna show you which car that is right now. Uh, I don't think I've shown you guys what my daily car is so far on the vlog. I don't know why it just hasn't been relevant. I haven't done anything to it. It's pretty much stock for the most part. But I'm gonna show you that right now. I got such a good deal on this hood that I couldn't pass it up. So this is my daily right here. It's a Kia Optima. I actually really like this car. It's a perfect a to B car. I haven't had no problems with it. I've had it for almost four years now. I actually got some carbon fiber emblems to go with it as well. So we're going to be putting... Oh, man, you can't really see anything. But we're, we're going to be putting these on the car as well. We're going to get started right now. Putting on a hood is way simpler than any other mod on the car. This box is huge. Imagine if there was a pizza this big. So the hood is on the car. It came out really nice. I'm extremely happy with how it came out, especially for the price that we got it at. But I wanted to show you guys something. We were working on our website. We just added like a mega menu bar to our website and you know, it came out really nice. The past couple of months, we've been working extremely hard guys to basically up our game. We want our packaging better. We want our website better. We want our products better. We want everything better for you guys. And we've been working on it nonstop. And you know, we're just really proud and happy with how the website's coming along. We have a lot more changes in store coming in the future, but you know, that's just something I wanted to show you guys real quick. And I think Frankie and Ivan are working on something in the back, so let's go check out what they're doing. I bought an NRG hub and steering wheel the other day. We're gonna make this video kind of like a how-to video. So for all of you having trouble or have never put on a new steering wheel before, this video will help you. So first and most important thing is you gotta disconnect your battery. Why? Because if you don't, there's a chance that your airbags will deploy. When you disconnect the battery, just let your car sit in there for about 15 minutes before you start removing the steering wheel. I ended up going with the NRG steering wheel this is the hub and let me open this up i just got this in a couple days ago i went with the black suede steering wheel only because it gets so hot in california and every time i'm about to like put my hands on the steering wheel my ass is always getting burnt and a quick update i did end up getting my oem motherfucking carpet so it's brand spanking new feels great before we put this on all my shit was flying everywhere sorry for the messy fucking hair it's so hot here in Cali. Anyways, we need a couple tools, so we gotta run over to Home Depot right now. One good thing about Frankie's new 350Z is the AC fucking works really good, especially with this fucking California heat. And it actually drives really smooth. Handling is pretty good as well. It's actually like a car you can get a bank for your bus. Kind of reminds me of like the FRS a little bit, but here's an eyes and that's why. One thing I noticed about this car is I need a new clutch, and luckily, we are talking to a couple people about like a sponsorship and stuff like that. Another weird thing about the 350C is that there's no glove compartment. And it's actually located behind the passenger seat. So actually there's two 
Yeah. yeah. One, two, one, yeah, two. It's such a trip. Dude. Another thing too we noticed there's a cup holder on this door panel, the passenger, one on Frankie's driver's side over there. It looks like there's two here in this center console. And then an additional two right here in this like armrest area. So that's what six cup holders total for a two-seater sports car. We are always at Home Depot. I feel like we live here. All right, you guys, so first thing you gotta do is move your driver's seat all the way back. All this clearance to work on the steering wheel. First thing you gotta do, if you look at the side of the steering wheel, there's uh, this little, there's a plastic piece here, which exposes this uh, torque screw. Same thing on the right side. All I did was use a, a pick to remove those little caps. So then, now we gotta go ahead and get those screws removed. In order to remove these screws, you are gonna need a torque. I'm not sure what the term is, but it does have like the little hollow point in the center right there. This is a T30, so let's get these removed. All right guys, so once you remove the two screws on the left and right side, this should come out. The center piece right here should just pop right out. All right, perfect. Now we gotta go ahead and disconnect these two wires, which is for the airbag. So guys, all you need to do is there's a screwdriver to pry these clips off. They're a bit of a pain in the ass, but once you get them off, there we go. So now this is removed. The next step is to remove this uh, 19 millimeter bolt. So the way I'm gonna do this, guys, I'm just gonna use a good handy uh, breaker bar if I can get this in there. Well, actually it's too short, so I'm gonna go ahead and put an extension to be able to remove the bolt. So make sure your wheel's locked so it doesn't move anywhere. There we go. Loosen the steering wheel back up. All right, what you guys want to do now is make sure you center it. All right, guys, so this bolt is finally loose, ready to come out. But before we remove it, you leave this bolt in place so you can pull on the steering wheel. So we need to break Talking this. Talking about thing. this bolt right here, the middle one, the center. Leave, leave that on there because when you're trying to pull your steering wheel out, if the bolt's not there, what's going to happen is when you pull the steering wheel, it's going to just pop off and it's going to smack in the face. See? Exactly what I mean. So now that the steering wheel's loose, nice and straight take out the bolt so we went ahead and disconnected this clip there it is all right guys now that the steering wheel is removed we are going to go ahead and start putting in the new nrg hub so you want to center this as best as possible so the hub is in place i'm going to go to just finger tighten this just to hold it in place okay so now we gotta go ahead and connect the little two amp fuse wires that came with the with the hub onto the plugs for the airbag. That way your SRS light doesn't come on. Just gotta stick them in here and on the other side, just like that. And then you gotta go ahead and tuck these in here. Tucked in. So let me go ahead and tighten this 19 millimeter bolt here. He's basically having to hold every single piece together. All right, so I've been officially put the steering wheel on the hub. And right now he's tightening the bolts. His hand tightening, and then we'll go back all around and then we tighten them all. Nice. The horn isn't working right now because it needs to be grounded. So once we ground the horn, it should work. Yeah, she's ready to go. Oh yeah, I'm feeling this way more, bro. Since it is like a smaller deep dish steering wheel, I can actually pull the seat more back and be able to sit more comfortably. And my hands won't be getting burned anytime soon. So now that the steering wheel is on, it usually takes around, I would say, 30 to 40 minutes. If you're vlogging, everything takes longer. It took us about an hour. So I hope that everything you guys just seen will help your guys' install on your new steering wheels. Right now, I'm gonna pull her out so I can give her her first car wash. I haven't washed her since I bought her, so. So now that I'm out here, I just want to talk to you guys a little bit about the setup I want to go for. So right off the top, I am installing the Rocket Bunny kit. I'm going wide. I'm going fucking wide. I'm going to go with the front bumper, throw some canyards, some heavy fucking splitters all around. Obviously the fender flares, the rear duck bill. I do want to install like a big old chassis wing right here that goes over the duck bill. Diffusers on the back and obviously switch out the exhaust on the car. Keeping the O OEM tail lights and of course wheels. If you guys have any suggestions on what type of wheel, comment below, shoot some links. And suggestions on the color wrap. I will be wrapping this car. As far as the interior, I already got the steering wheel. I love Recaro bucket seats. I'm gonna go ahead and remove these and install those. Hopefully I can cop 
those next week. I got the double din stereo. I bought that like two days ago. So those are my immediate plans for the car. After I finish those, I'll obviously get to the next step. I'm gonna end the vlog right here. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you guys like, subscribe, share it with your friends. I do wanna pick the winner of our YouTube giveaway. I'm gonna display you right here. So make sure you contact us, DM us your shirt size and address. We're gonna ship you out an awesome care package. And if you guys didn't win and want to win our YouTube giveaway, all you have to do is comment on this video. That's it. I'll be picking a winner on the next vlog. I hope you guys like my plans for the 350Z. Drive safe and I'll see you guys next time. Peace out. Riders on the storm. Riders on the storm.